so here is my bag. Um, I'm gonna save this and carry this bag with me in my backpack. It's gonna be uh, my ore bag, lucky ore bag. But let's go ahead and dump this out. It actually dried out in the back of the vehicle. And we're gonna dump it in this thing and then I can kind of pick through it a little bit. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen it. Wow, since I packaged it that day, there could be a diamond in there. Could be all kinds of gemstones in there. Every little one in case there's a... Wow, okay, so we did pretty good. I mean, there's people that left there with entire bucket fulls, but that right there is quite a bit of material just to start with. To have to go through so you could see the name of the game would be to go ahead and uh yeah, spend your entire day gathering as much material as you could and then look through it at another point there are all kinds of other gemstones in here that we will be looking for and of course my mom has her bag we just split it directly in half so who knows who got the giant diamond but for now, this is what we're looking at. That's proof of the work. It's hard to get the gravel out of there, it really is. I don't know how I'm gonna go about this. I'm just gonna spread it out, I guess, and kind of sift through it just to start with to look for giant gemstones or things shining up at me. They said to get it dry. The guys at the store give you a lot of tips if you stop in that hardware store, though. And pay attention, actually. Take their advice. I took about half their advice, and then by the time you're done, you're like, I wish I had just done everything that they said, you know? And they're not trying to hard sell you on anything. The prices are real good, and uh, you can tell they've been doing it for a long time every day, helping people get out there and have fun. The whole town's kind of built on that. So, let's see what we do next here. I had to break this up into two videos because the other one was incredibly long. We actually did not have time to sit here and pick through all of this, so I had to wait till a later moment for us to be able to do it. Probably be a pretty short video. It'll be a long hunt for us. But I'm not sure how much of that I need to really show you. I'll show you the different techniques and anything that I get. Um, probably start drying and spread it out even more than this, but in the end might go for a wet method. Oh, that might even be a diamond right there. Shining up at us, it's just minute. Wow. That's what they said was look for anything that is shiny. So I might literally kind of paw through it like that at first looking for things that stick up that are shiny. And using my readers and a loop probably with a light to really see. And we'll use some water and try and gravity sift. And then in the end, we will probably try my little light table trick that I do and see if there's anything translucent. That'll make things like garnets and other stuff pop. There's supposed to be a lot of different gemstones that you can run into in this material. It's pretty exciting just uh, digging through. A pile of crater of diamonds material here. I wasn't sure if I was going to wait my whole lifetime and never get to actually paw through it. Some people have never found one and some people have found 30. I was just wondering what we could do here on the quest, taking one wild stab at it. This is my mom's bucket lister for sure. Okay, I've already become 
sloppy and started my moving piles of dirt that could have had uh, diamonds in there. The diamonds that we're going to find in here are most likely pretty darn small. What I was seeing. But it doesn't mean that there won't be a big gigantic one just looking up at us. Is that glass or is it diamond? Some of the little chips were like that. Wow. Are you seeing that? I wonder if that's glass or diamond. Or some other crystal. Wow, man. Wow, I wonder, I guess we could put our diamond tester on it. What? That was hopefully not just glass. I mean, keeping in mind that farm has been there for however long. Probably big enough to read. I know it looks like a broken chip, but some of the things that they were finding were. I'm gonna have to go get my loop. And look at this a little bit closer because that would be crazy. Okay. Be right back. the perfect thing. This is a little loop that me madre got me. And, oh yeah, there you go. Blinded you. It's got a little light on it and then the two different strengths. So I actually need my reading glasses too. I should go get those. And then we have the diamond tester. So we'll see if we can, uh, get any truth out of, out of this. Uh oh, a okay. lamp, battery, on, finger on the back. What? I don't even know. I don't even know. Literally though. A shiny flake of... What? Oh my god. Should 
sure looks like. I mean, I guess you can get pieces of diamonds out of there too, right? You know, it's not like they're all going to be... Like perfect, uh, it's part too fuzzy. It's not like they're all going to be perfect diamond shapes or anything. Wow. Okay. Let's, uh, sorry, not much talking. I'm thinking I found a diamond head or a piece of diamond or. Wow. Okay. Time out. Okay. Have it in a little bag and uh let's go see what my mom got and i'm gonna keep digging through here but probably off camera so the next part will be uh yeah let's go see what she's got oh so i know that i said that we would be going to my mom's pile next but I started slowly pawing through this again. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, that's a lot like a little clear gemmy stone right there. Yes, it is. What? that in the bag and then folks I think I'm gonna probably be hooked on this for the rest of the night no really let's uh let's definitely uh okay let's cut here and we'll go to my mom's pile and I'll let you know if I find anything else In here. What? Oh, wow. Okay. So I've been washing the gravel. Until the water is clear. This is the crater of the diamonds. Off the bucket list. Getting them as clear as I can and put it through the screen. It's in Murfreesboro, Arkansas. 
And if you go there, go to the hardware store in town. And they gave us good advice. And also, they would rent you anything you need if you don't want to buy it. Especially a wagon to carry your stuff to your site. I got these two screens here there because I can use it for other gemstones. And the dirt is kind of green. And I don't know why, but while we were there, the dog is kind of black on her back. She looks purple. And other people told me their dogs were purple when they were there. So, anybody knows why that was happening? And the fines are going right down into a thing below. And then just let it drip for a while. And I got two of these screens. Then I'm going to put it by the sun in the day to dry out on parchment. And by the fireplace at night so it'll dry quicker. Because they said when these gravels are dry that you'll have seen more clarity. The stones that have any clarity at all if they're going to be there. So, good luck to me. And the quest goes on. So this is the dried gravel. Very tedious to go through this, but if you dry it and put it in the sun, then the diamonds reflect and they're easier to see. Um, dried this in the oven using this it has a light but in the sun you don't need it and then you can look and see if there's anything glinting it's very tedious but worth it if you find a diamond since diamonds in America are the hardest thing To find it seems, but the people at the hardware store in Murfreesboro, Arkansas were so kind to give so much information and having the gravels dry if you work all day and get your gravels together, then you can dry it out and pan it at your own, not pan it, um, search through it at your leisure which can take quite a bit of time. Plus, there's many other minerals in here. Uh, keep looking. I did find a little jar of things that have clarity to them. Probably most of it's quartz. But a couple of them have actual clarity. So, we will live in hope and keep the search. And the quest goes on. I'm hoping that at least one of these is a small diamond to put it in my collection. But we will see. Okay, that's going to be it for me. I have gone back and forth. Back and forth. Or as I say that, I see.
something that I have not seen before. That's a different little creature. We will put that over here in our pile of other little different creatures. So these are all other stones that I pulled out of there going back and forth and back and forth. None of them with any extreme clarity. There's a couple there. But different than our first one for sure. See those? Those two there. And we were talking these are some some tiny things here. That and that together. So those actually have little faces on them and stuff and they're kind of clear. But yeah, excuse the shake. We're up to four times the magnification and I'm using a phone. So I'm going to save all of these and look at them under the microscope and definitely keep them in the little box marked Crater of Diamonds if I ever get a chance for second or third opinions I'm trying to get different light and magnification on these yeah those are those little see-through ones just trying different light angles to try and get you different views. Let's look at these a little bit closer. And you could at least let me know what you think. There was some really ugly diamonds when I was looking at online. At what other people had found. There's also, there's also really pretty diamonds down there that one and uh, so looking more like the quartz here's our little teeny tiny ones let's look at the biggest of the teeny tiny yep okay those don't really have upon closer inspection the um Nah. That one looks better, huh? And then the dinkiest of possibilities. don't know what you would do with that though so that is everything that I could pick out of there including our two keeper which I'm pretty happy with the one being a diamond I'm pretty sure about that and then these are the two agates that I was able to pull out of there you can see that they are a layer See the details down in there. So pretty cool stuff. Again, this is straight from in the crater. Looks like it might be real fun. These are just the faces that uh, were naturally broken like that. Look at the details in here. Don't know what the little black rocks are, but they're. And then this is a little slab of the same material. A little light in on the situation. Yep. Okay, so uh, we have to get on down the road here with this adventure. It is rocks, rocks, rocks. And uh, we have some incredible stops to make ahead. So the videos are going to be coming out every other day or every third day at the most. And... Yeah, we are rock hounding the whole way, so 
um, stay tuned. Thank you for sticking with me um, on this whole adventure series. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video now. And we will go ahead and see you in a day or two, hopefully, at the next adventure. Until then, please take care of yourselves. And if you get the chance, take care of each other. The quest goes on.